Namaste. So that's the Gayatri Mantra. And of course, Gayatri is actually about Shakti. Uh, Savitri is the wife, the energy, the Shakti of the sun god. So even though the male dominant hierarchy, <laughs> religious hierarchy, identifies Gayatri as a prayer to the sun god, it is actually a prayer to Shakti. So <laughs> this is a typical mix-up that uh, even the Sri Vidya, the male dominant hierarchy wallas, <laughs> are trying to force people to take initiation into their cults. But actually, there is no initiation, formally uh, initiation, in Sri Vidya. Because why? Shakti is everybody's mother. Do you require permission from some hierarchy to go see your mother or talk to your mother or embrace your mother? No. These affectionate dealings between mother and child are natural, spontaneous. And because she is directly Saguna Brahman, they're all on the transcendental platform. There's no conditions. It's just, you know, step up and do the puja. So that's the Sri Vidya, and that's the new paradigm. And of course, we're advocating the use of uh, psychedelics and theogens to support and enhance the practices in the Sri Vidya. And just in case you think you know, we're joking, check out this shloka from the Yoga Sutras, Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, the fourth chapter, Kaivalyapada, first shloka. Janma Shadhi Mantra Tapa Samadhi Jasiddhayaha. The siddhis, or powers, are attained by birth, drugs, power of words, mortification, or concentration. Now, the various translators and commenters of Patanjali all kind of, you know, evade the issue. But the word in the verse is aushadi, which is when it's in combination with a previous word, the word oshadi becomes aushadi. Aushadi means broadly, generically, all flowering plants, annuals, those that do not uh, regrow automatically after the winter. So all leafy plants and, of course, mushrooms and uh, other fungi are included in that because they don't automatically regrow. They have to, you have to recultivate them. So <laughs> broadly it means that, but narrowly it means soma. Soma is the Vedic psychedelic drug. It's not really a drug, it's a medicine. You know, let's put it, let's take it out of the drug bucket and put it in the medicine bucket. The research now on psilocybin shows that it's remarkably effective in a wide range of conditions from depression through diabetes. <laughs> so uh, it's a medicine, just like cannabis is a medicine. And so these substances, these plants, are natural uh, abetants, uh, enhancements to the regular process. We're not advocating giving up sadhana and go getting stoned. That's not what we're advocating at all. Although you go to North India, especially in Himalayas, and in the hill country in the south here, and you'll see sadhus openly uh, smoking lots and lots of ganja. But that is actually not recommended. It should be taken as a medicine, as a sacrament. Uh, 
not a replacement for sadhana, but an enhancement for sadhana. So this is our new paradigm. <laughs> and I wanted to say also that uh, this being the conclusion of this particular series, then I wanted to kind of preview what's coming next. Uh, our altar, here's a nice shot of it from this morning's puja. Uh, we're doing, first of all, the glorification of the paraphernalia of sadhana. So you see all the paraphernalia arranged on two different plates before the deities. And so we're offering the paraphernalia to them first. And then uh, in a couple of days, we're going to get a new Sri Yantra, big gold Sri Yantra. And that will become the principal deity. All the offerings and such will be made to that. Sri Yantra is still there already on the altar, but it's just a simple copper plate engraved with the Yantra. Uh, so we want to make it nicer and more accessible so we can show the process of worship, the puja. This is what you should be doing. If you're following this channel, uh, you should be doing the puja, the practices, because Tantra is not just about philosophy. The philosophy is the least of it. <laughs> Actually, the practices... The sadhana is what gives the results. Of course, it helps to understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, and to whom you're offering these things. Huh? But if you do the practices, all these will be revealed to you automatically. So highly recommend that you do this puja. You can go on Amazon.com and order the items for RT. I'll put a link in the video description and show uh, the items that you can order. And uh, follow the instructions in the Srimad Devi Bhagavatam. Also put a link to that. And uh, if you do this, if you recite the prayers and mantras and so forth, and just offer some simple incense and lamp and flowers and water, that's all it takes to please her. You know, mothers are very pleased when their children offer their love and affection in simple ways, with broken words. <laughs> and the mother think is, thinks it's cute, you know? <laughs> so even though we're not very uh, expert at Sanskrit and uh, music and the uh, elements of the worship, rituals and so on, still we know Mother accepts our worship because we get the reciprocation from her. We get the result in the form of her presence. And because she is Brahman, she is pure consciousness, we experience this as Sat-Chit-Ananda, eternal being, deep knowledge of everything, and bliss. To see Brahman in the world as the goddess, and to see the world in Brahman as her offspring, Huh? This is the highest vision. This was the vision I had back in 1984 when I got first path. She came to me in an invisible form and gave me Shaktipat, boink, right here. And boom, everything opened and I could see. And I've never forgotten that. So, if you want to get these kind of results, huh? Don't speculate. You know, a lot of people think Tantra means, oh, I can give up all sadhana and studies and just go off and have sex and take drugs. Huh? Great. <laughs> but that won't give you the result. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get high, I guess, you know. You'll get passionate and all. But you won't meet 
the mother. So don't distort this process. Uh, read the Tantra Shastras. We've published so many of them. I'm also going to put a link to our uh, document library where we have all the important Tantra Shastras. You can download and read them there. So please take this to heart. Uh, don't miss this opportunity. And uh, be in consciousness of the mother because she is the gateway to enlightenment. Aung Tatsat, Aung Shakti Aung.